being honest, we, we know yeah. that the best part of any carnival is the food. So true. Calorie-laden, bizarre food combos <laughs> that can intrigue or disgust, depending on your <laughs> mood. Uh, well, for the record, I am firmly in the intrigue camp, mm -hmm. and I want it all in my belly. In your belly, like, right, like right now. Like right now. Like right now. So we're doing yeah. this right now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Today we are bringing those treats into our very own kitchen to help us eat a month's worth of calories, really, in the next couple of minutes. Is that the goal here? <laughs> Hashtag squat goals. I think so. Uh, food expert Andrea Bucket is here. Good to see you. Good to see you guys. We've already like pre-sampling the tater tots. Yes. I'm surprised there's any left, actually. I know. But... I'm really sorry about that. <laughs> That's we, okay. We ate on the, the back fringe. perimeter. Yes. yes. Okay. That's all right. So how do we make these uh, a little more interesting? So yeah. So you know, Carnival Foods all about going over the top. You want salt. You want sugar. You want deep fried stuff. So we're gonna do a uh, cheesy kimchi tater tot. Wow. Yeah, we are. Okay. All right. Tell so me. I'm going on this side. Awesome. So it's as easy as grabbing yourself a bag of tater tots, throwing them in the oven, follow the package directions, yeah. mm. and then you're going to make a great bechamel sauce. Okay. okay? So bechamel sauce, flour, butter, uh, a little bit of milk, okay. and then to that, we're going to amp that up by adding some kimchi. Okay. Mm -hmm. So kimchi is a fermented uh, cabbage product. Mm -hmm. It's super delicious. Lots of great funky okay. flavors. Will you're that gonna... give it a bit of a crunch? Is uh, that what we're looking for? Absolutely. Uh, all this stuff as well? Yep, all that. So delicious. that's the kimchi juice. So that's okay. going to add a little brightness. Okay. And then the Dijon mustard, which okay. gives it a lot of flavor as well. So yeah, you're looking for that different texture flavors, yeah. right? And flavors. So this is going to give you the creamy crunchiness. Wow. Oh, it smells good. Yeah. So that I mean, that's just. You want to dump this just on top of that? You got it. All right. All right. I don't know how this is going to work. I, I, well, you just dump it and it's going to. No, but I don't want it to all be in one place, <laughs> Linz. Okay, I need to. So we need gotta, to spread out the move goodness. It. Oh, yeah. Spread out the chi. Yeah. And if you didn't want to serve it like that, you could just put it with a little bowl out and you could use it and dip oh. them in. And... Let's say you're having a little uh, tater tot dinner party. You got yeah. it. <laughs> Some carnival inspired. There we go. And awesome. then I'm guessing that we can uh, garnish it up. Garnish it up a little bit. Sure. Right? So some green onions and cilantro. Again, if you don't like cilantro, I know it's not everybody's favorite. This looks really parsley. good. Uh, yeah, it's like, you know, fries and the more you put on, the better kind of thing, right? All right. These are basically. You're going to try this, Ben? I think of course you should I'm try, try this. <laughs> okay. So you get those tater tots, mm, cheesy like kimchi. Yeah, it's delicious, right? Mm -hmm. That would make and any carnival proud. That's right? awesome. Really good. And I would, I would even throw some hot sauce on there. Yeah. If you're into that. Mm -hmm. Totally. A little bit of hot sauce. Right sauce. Do it. Yeah. Awesome. Absolutely. <laughs> All right, let's move on. Really? All right. This is fantastic. OK, so this is totally where I'm at. When I used to go to the carnival, uh, my dad would always buy uh, corn dogs, mm -hmm. right? Corn mm -hmm. dogs. You're a savory person, too. Yes. Mm -hmm. So this is something that everyone can do at home. It's a savory uh, corn dog muffin, and it has pickles in the batter. I oh. love pickles. Okay, you have so to it's see all what this in like. one. Like, it's all in see, one. Yeah, so you can see the pickles in here. There's okay. a hot dog in there. Let me see. a little bit. I'm just going to break mine open with my hand. I mean, you're. There we go. See very you right posh. there. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Very posh. Until he bites it. Watch this. I'm going to eat this. Yeah, and then you're okay. going to dip it in. I'm more of a mustard gal. Um, what about you? Are you? I'm a doubler. Oh, so, a doubler. Yeah, I like, uh, you know what I like on my hot dog? Ketchup, mustard, and pickles. So this is mm. like perfection for me. So you oh, think amazing. I should split it open? Well, you can split you it can open. It makes it a bit easier believe, to eat. I believe that we are living in a, in a time where pe more and more people are eating the corn muffin. I believe you're right. When I was growing up, no corn muffins nope. anywhere. I like that this because is the they're, they're sweet and savory, and you can you know put a bunch of different things in them, and they go well. Like I like a, I'm a savory person, mm -hmm. so I like it with a bowl of chili or something. Agreed. But this is perfect. You know, this is good for the kids back to school too, actually. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Why yes. not? So savory is now done. Let's say we want to get some desserts in the All middle. right, Ben, this is for you. This is the homemade cronut. The homemade cronut. Yeah, it's super simple. All you need for that is some um, puff pastry that's mm -hmm. already bought, uh, some hot oil, deep fry them, toss them a little bit of cinnamon sugar, and you're good to go. Now, for people who don't know, it's a combination of croissant and donut. Right, so what you get is, you get this gorgeous sort of flaky pastry when you open it up. Oh, look at that. You want here. that? Yes, I do want Linz, that. That's and well then you made, we got it. some chocolate here. Yep, too. I just took, I just have to tell you, I just took the most massive bite of that thing, so I... <laughs> Go. It probably was helpful because I didn't, I didn't, I wasn't able to speak for a good minute. There. Yeah, but these are really easy to do at home. There's no. This uh, is done at home. Done at home. Really? That's amazing. How? How? Really? How do you do this? Puff pastry. Mm -hmm. Cut it out with your um, donut cutter, and mm -hmm. then you deep fry them. So really yeah, easy. You have a deep fryer. Well, you can use a pot, but you want to make sure you have a thermometer right. in there, and it goes up to 375. That's really, really good. That's good. And, and finally. Then, I'm, I'm seeing something here. This looks oh, yeah. like a one biter of goodness here. This is a deep fried chocolate caramel brownie. So think uh, little brownies that you can buy at the store. <laughs> oh, those, yeah, I've seen those. You, okay. Yeah, yeah sure. right. So, and then you stuck a piece of caramel in there, stick a piece of caramel in there, pancake batter. So it's something that you can already buy, deep fry it, and you're good to go. Okay, let's do it. Yeah, you want no. Yeah. Go. I think I'm going to have some of this milkshake, actually. Okay, yes. And what's in, that's just, it just, just for a second, it looks like a Katy Perry video. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of sparkle in color. Okay. How are those? So those are nice and oh, that's so good. Chocolatey, oh. caramely. Mmm. I can <laughs> feel the endorphins bathing my brain. Oh my gosh. You guys are going to be high all day from this oh, chocolate yeah. and sweetness. Yes. And I'm going to have a nice gloss and glisten to
Oh, mm. wow, that's really good. That is fantastic. Okay. Woo! Yes, cheers to you. Cheers. Next up to the uh, and your bucket. Cake. Cheers. Thank you so in. much. <laughs> and don't forget, you can find these recipes on our website. Go Your morning, morning